What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a super quick at home brow grooming routine. So this is just basically how I keep up with my brows on a weekly basis, just to make sure that they aren't getting too bushy or just starting to look a little bit unkept. I generally try to keep this going, um, but sometimes, you know, I don't. Sometimes my brows do get a little bit bushy and, and unruly, but um, I am gonna kind of touch on like general rule of thumbs in terms of shaping your brows, but I use the word rule super lightly just because I think Finding your brow shape and grooming your brows is completely dependent on your own facial features. So one rule doesn't really work for all face shapes and I think it's more so about just kind of working with your own natural brow shape and just grooming where it's needed but not overdoing it. And honestly, if you stick as close to your natural brow shape as you possibly can, it's gonna be so much easier to upkeep because you're not gonna be you know, drastically changing the shape therefore having to you know, continue up with a lot of upkeep in terms of your brows. So I really hope you guys find this helpful. Um, before we get into it, please subscribe to my channel just so you guys can stay updated whenever I upload new videos for you guys. And then I would also love it if you guys would come follow me on Instagram too because that's where you'll find me whenever I'm not actually here on my channel making videos for you guys. The main thing is, is you never want to over pluck or obviously sometimes you can't you know, avoid that and that happens to everyone, but you just wanna to try to avoid over plucking as much as possible. So I like to just take any little spoolie, I'm using the one on the back of Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I start off with my brows completely bare, no product in them, and just brush them in upward strokes like this, just so I can kind of see what I'm working with. And then what I really like to do is take a clear brow gel so that there's no tint, so you're not deceiving yourself thinking your brows are actually fuller than they are, um, just so you can kind of get the brows stuck in that upward position. So I like 24 hour brow setter from Benefit, and I just like to make sure that all my brows are in an upward perk, just so I can see which ones are too long. Like, see how they're kind of sticking up? They're a little bit longer than what I'd want, so I just kind of like brush them upward a bit. And then I take my little brow scissors. These are actually specifically for grooming brows. They come to this really nice foin foin, fine point, so you can really have a lot of precision when you're working with the brows. So with one hand, I'm gonna be using the scissors, and then with the other hand, I'm actually gonna be using my spoolie, and I'll show you guys how I trim my brows. I'll start right at the base like this, kind of fluff the brow up, and then see how a lot of these hairs are really long, like right in this area? I'll just give them a little bit bit of a trim just so I don't have anything that's too scraggly and I'm really just cutting off the very tips of my brows you don't want to cut too um, close to the base of the brow because then it can actually make your brows look more sparse so I just cut like this we're really just getting rid of the bits that are too long so just give them a light trim and always kind of, you know, brush through just so you can really assess everything as you go. And then I always want to even out this part of the brow because you guys can see this part starts growing straight up while these brow hairs grow outward. So what I like to do is just take those scissors again and I just trim this long patch right here. So just kind of give it a little cut. And again, just kind of brush upward, make sure everything is good. And then I'm happy with that. So I'll do the same thing on this brow. Just trim the very ends because you really don't want to take off too much hair. Because again, that'll just make the brows look a little bit more sparse. This is just like a nice light grooming. And then I just trim these top brow hairs. And then I go in and pluck, and I really just take anything that's distracting from like my actual brow. So mostly like right around here, I'll kind of let there be a few hairs that I don't pluck because I really like that like full bushy look. But anything that's on the actual eyelid or just kind of randomly on 
the eye space I always like to go in and just remove some of those I always like to take the little brow pieces that kind of sit right in this area away too just because I find that those are kind of unnecessary so I always like to keep this outer corner of my brows really clean and honestly plucking is the most annoying part of the whole entire process so sometimes if I'm in a rush and I don't have the time to like really go through and pluck each hair, then I'll shave them. Like do the little tinkle razor and just kind of run the razor over all the stray hairs. But that does not last as long and you'll have to upkeep that more often. So if I do have extra time, I definitely prefer to pluck just because you'll get more time without the hair growing back. So now that we've trimmed the stray long hairs and we've cleaned up under the eyebrow, we can start moving into the actual shaping of the brow. So generally speaking, the rule of thumb for most people is that you take your pencil and you're gonna line it up with the edge of your nostrils, just straight up and down, and that would be where you want to start plucking. So if I follow that rule, I would start plucking like somewhere around here because that would be straight up and down. Um, I used to do that in high school and it was super unflattering. It just, it looks so bad. It makes um, my nose look really wide. It makes my face look really spread out and it's just not feminine looking on my face. So I prefer my brows to be closer together. So before you do the pencil trick, really assess your face and decide where you want your brows to be spread apart because that's what you like. So you don't have to do this and follow it to a T. Um, and then if you are going to be shaping your arch, the same thing, generally speaking, you would put it on the edge of your nose and then the arch should be like right around here. So my arch naturally falls pretty in line with that. So I do keep my arch in this arena. Um, but I don't really like my arch to be any more exaggerated than it already is. But you can arch your brows more accordingly and you can also kind of take off the top if you'd want a more straight look. But for this, you know, lower arch, you would just line your pencil up like this and then kind of decide where you want it to be. And same generally goes for the tail. You line the pencil up and then it should be like in line with the edge of your eye. So mine's actually a little bit shorter. So when I fill in my brows, I generally elongate the tail just a little bit. But in terms of actual spacing of the brows, I think that this is one of the most crucial steps. So before you actually go in and start, you know, plucking your brows in line with the pencil, really take a look at your face and make sure that that's what you want to do. Because I just think if you spread them out too far, you might really actually hate it. So generally I keep my brows this space apart all the time. So it's really easy for me to kind of upkeep with the middle hair because I never pluck past this point. Um, I just always go in with my tweezers and really just make sure that I keep everything nice and plucked. And I always have, you know, these random brow hairs that grow like right on this space. So I like to pluck those too, just for a little bit more of a clean look. Once I finish cleaning up this middle section, it's all about just kind of fine tuning. So if there's any stray hairs along the top section of the brow that are really out of line, like sometimes I get them like right around here, I'll tweeze these a bit just because there's some really tiny fine stray ones. And I'll kind of tweeze like just a little bit above the brow just so it has a little bit more of a uniform shape. But overall, I don't, like you guys can probably just barely see them. They're really fine. I don't want to get rid of these hairs that are sitting on top of the brow. If you wanted a super clean, glam, you know, fresh edge, then you would want to take all these little hairs off. But I like more of like a bushy, youthful brow. So I let those be. And the top of your brow, you really don't want to over pluck because then you're just going to bring the brows down lower and they're gonna look really thin and low on your face. So you're better off taking a little bit more off the bottom than the top because the top is just gonna pull your forehead down even further. So be really, really careful and really, really selective about the brows that you're taking off from the top part of the brow because you don't wanna drag down your face. So I just really only take off the ones that are super out of line and just don't look like they belong. But other than that, all these other ones, I just let them be because I think that they're kind of cute and they just give you like a lot more of a, you know, young, youthful appearance. Overall though, I'm pretty much done. So I'll just give my brows a final brush up. 
And you don't want to fill in your brows before you do this because you want to just look at your own natural brow hair and really have the best eye for it so you can see exactly what you're working with. But overall, I'm actually really happy with the way they turned out. It's just like a quick, easy grooming process. This is just kind of how I keep up with my brows and make sure that they aren't getting too crazy bushy. But overall, it only takes me like 10 minutes. I probably do this like once a week and a lot of you guys have been requesting kind of like a brow grooming at home tutorial. So I hope this answered any questions that you guys had in regards to my general, you know, brow upkeep routine. Alrighty guys, so I really, really hope that you found this brow grooming tutorial helpful. Like I said, it's super easy. I don't think it should be a ton of work to keep up with your brows. I just think work with your own natural brow shape and you will be the happiest. Um, if there's anything that I didn't touch in terms of brows, please be sure to hit me up in the comments down below. I always do my best to get back to every single one of you guys. Please subscribe if you didn't earlier and come follow me on Instagram too if you didn't earlier. Products and information will be listed in the description box down below for you guys. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye guys.